Hey guys, Salty Alley here and welcome to another episode of Ocean State Aquatics TV here at OSA Wakefield. And today we're doing something a little fun and exciting. We are going to be stripping a African cichlid. What does that mean? Check it out. So today we are going to be birthing a bunch of baby African cichlids, which is really, really exciting and fun. I mean, unless you're Danny and you might think that's not very exciting and fun. He thought that was a little weird. It's creepy. A little bit. So if you guys are into African cichlids, you've probably heard of stripping before. Um, but if you haven't and you have no idea what that means and you're just interested to find out, it means the removing of the fry from the African cichlid's mouth. African cichlids are mouth brooders, which means that they carry the eggs and fry in their mouth until the babies are fully developed and then they spit them out. Once they do, this species, once they do spit them out, they do not protect them. They have no really motherly instinct. So once they're out, they're on their own. And that means that even mom might decide they make, make a good breakfast. <laughs> when I see Africans holding, I like to try and strip the babies from them right at about the time that they're developed, which is about 18 to 20 days and uh, I save them and put them in a separate aquarium so they don't get eaten, and we try to raise them up. So today we have two female obliquidens, zebra obliquidens, holding fry. They both bred within a day of each other, so they're definitely ready to go, and I'm gonna show you guys how we do that. So first we're gonna grab a separate container. I'm gonna use a little catch cup here. I'm gonna fill it about halfway. It doesn't have to be all the way full. We try to do this as like stress-free as possible. If you really stress them out, chase them around the tank, they're just gonna spit them out out of fear. Most other fish will take advantage of that and get a free snack. So we're gonna try to avoid doing that and just a nice, you know, easy catch. And now uh, there's a few ways you can do it. I like to just use my hand. Some people uh, do like to use like a little credit card or something to like pry their mouth open. So I just grab her, my hands are wet, you know, no chemicals on my hands, no hand sanitizer, no lotion, anything like that. We just grab her like this. And then I use my other hand and just kind of pry open. And there you see them. Look at all those little babies. So a little up and down action like this kind of gets them to come out. And it's pretty amazing to see how many one can have in her mouth. Another good reason why someone may do this as well is if the female is starting to get skinny. Sometimes when uh, they hold, because they don't eat or anything, the whole time they're holding their babies. So sometimes they can, you know, they may be holding a little too long or something and they start to get skinny and unhealthy. And that's when you kind of have to intervene and, you know, take, take those babies out of there so the mom can have a break. If you do this too soon, the babies will still have a, uh, a yolk sac or they might still be eggs at that point. And unless you have an egg tumbler, they really won't survive. So you wanna make sure you do it at the proper time. Like I said, 18 to 20 days and she's all set. And back, back she goes. Being mouth brooders, the female, once the male and female choose each other, the female will, they swim in a circle and she lays her eggs right in a circle and she comes around and the male's right behind her and he comes right around and just fertilizes all those eggs and then she comes back around and picks them all up in her mouth and they can do that several times so they can have hundreds of babies in their mouth at once all right now we got mama number two and there is more these babies this set is uh probably a day or two a little early and they're just gonna go in a tank where they're not gonna get eaten and they can just kind of grow and do their thing so they should do just fine and mama's all good to go Back in she goes. So cool. So if you guys have African cichlids at home and you just saw your female just started carrying her eggs, give her about 20 days or so and uh, you can try this at home yourself. So as long as you have a separate tank set up where you can raise those babies, it's really fun, it's exciting, and uh, it's just neat, it's neat to do. So if you guys have any more questions or if you thought that was super cool and you guys wanna come on in and check them out, feel free to come visit me here at Wakefield or one of our other two locations, Seekonk or Coventry, and check out all the awesome fish we have available. Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Ocean State Aquatics TV and you know what to do, keep it fresh, baby.